Hey guys, today we're gonna find out if the beard and flannel look can make you a better pilot. I've always said that that can. All right, that's not actually what we're talking about today. We're gonna be talking about auto land functionality. Garmin recently came out with a product that allows the plane to be landed without the pilot being involved at all. And so today, I'm gonna to be putting some of these systems to the test. I'm gonna find out if it's possible to use a tool to get the plane on the ground without any intervention from a pilot. Let's get in the airplane and find out if it can be done. Hey guys, I'm Brian. I want to make this video today to talk about something that's just awesome. And first I need to ask a question. Alexa, who's the division leader in the NFC East right now? This might answer your question. The Cowboys are first in the NFC East. That's right, we're number one. But that's not what I want to talk about. This week, Garmin announced a new feature called the Auto Land feature, whereby a passenger in a plane can hit a button, and the plane is going to figure out the best airport to land at without a pilot being involved whatsoever. The idea is that if your pilot becomes incapacitated, a passenger can hit this button, and the plane's going to go land at an airport and get everyone down safely. Now, between you and me, I doubt this will ever really be used for pilot incapacitation. I think more likely it's going to be used when a pilot gets over their head or too far behind the plane, VFR into IMC type of stuff. But that doesn't matter. It's an amazing feature. And just the think about the technologies is mind-blowing, unless you know what I know. Um, I want to tell you a little story. A few years back, the iPhone came out with this feature called speech to text. And you probably remember all the hipstery iPhone people were like, we talk and the message gets put in our phone. It's awesome. And the Android phones, people were like, dude, if you like speech to text, you are going to love things like the wheel, uh, fire and color TV, because we've had that forever. What I'm saying is it's a great feature. I'm glad Garmin's doing it. They're initially going to pair it with the Cirrus Vision Jet. I think that's the first plane that's going to have it. Um, but it's not new. Um, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know I've got a product called Five Flight. Well, Five Flight has this feature standard. I've got the ability in my tool to automatically land the plane and get you down safely. And you don't have to be incapacitated. You don't have to have an emergency. Maybe you just want to get down. You're tired of hand flying the plane and you want to land. Five Flight's going to take care of that for you. So what I want to do is I want to get up in the airplane and I want to demonstrate this tool for you. So we'll go up in. I think I'm going to do it in the Cirrus. Five Flight's perfectly mobile. I can bring it in any plane. I can put it in a car and it'll take me home. But I'm going to do it in the Cirrus today just because I like that plane a lot right now since it's not in the shop. Um, there's always one in the shop. You, you need two planes. Um, but anyway, we're going to go up in the Cirrus. I'm going to show you how Five Flight Auto Land feature works, and I'm going to show you that it's just as good, maybe even better than the Garmin Auto Land feature. So let's get in the Cirrus and let me show you how this thing works. All right, so I'm up here and I've got my Five Flight, which, unlike the Garmin product, mine's Alexa enabled, so I can talk to it, tell it what I want it to do, and it'll do it. Um, obviously, I've got the Auto Land feature, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Alexa. Yes, Brian, how may I help you? Alexa, please initiate the auto land sequence for 25 Mike Victor. Auto land activated. Will you be needing the parachute today? Uh, no, I will not be using the parachute today. It asked you a series of questions because it wants to know exactly how it needs to engage itself to, uh, to land properly. Have you been drinking today? Uh, no, I've had nothing to drink, Alexa. Thank you for asking. Shall I notify the authorities? No. Now the big difference between the Garmin product and my product is with Five Flight, it doesn't squawk 7700. No one's going to know that I'm using the Auto Land feature. If I got in trouble and I had a problem, it's between me and the plane, okay? So Garmin wants everyone to know, hey, you've had an emergency. This is sort of stealthier. I like it a lot better. This is why we did it this way. All right, as you can see here on the Five Flight app, right now it's triangulating my position. Um, it's also sending all this data back to the Five Flight headquarters. They use that information to analyze the flights. Sometimes actually humans will get involved, they'll do an assessment, and they'll pick the best airport for you. Uh, but generally it just tries to find the closest airport and land for you. And as you can see, I'm totally alone on this plane. I'm not cutting it, and editing it, and mixing it in a creative way such that you can't see that there's a CFI over here or anything nefarious like that. This is 100% on the record. I'm not doing things after the fact to make it look like I'm alone on the plane when I'm totally alone on the plane and about to land with no one else right there in that seat that you can't see because it's been creatively edited out. That wouldn't be the right way to do it. There's no one in the plane with me. Why, why would anyone think that there's someone in the plane with me? 
uh, named Christy, who is an instructor and also has practiced landing this plane from the right seat. One other thing a lot of people have probably heard about is the five flight software does have a glitch where sometimes it will auto land the plane and sometimes on rare occasion it will just roll the plane on its back and fly it right into the ground. I get that that's a bad thing and your device may do that, but we stand behind our product and we are the only company, if that happens to you while using our product, we're going to give you a full refund. The other thing that's nice about Five Flight is it's completely mobile. You can take this unit in anybody's plane, anywhere, and it works no matter what. And right now, we're doing some seasonal promotions. If you order in the next 30 days, you get this version, which is, that's right, it's pumpkin spice scent. So nothing like making your plane smell a little bit like Thanksgiving when you're flying. All right, let's check out the auto land feature. Alexa, land this plane. Hold on tight and watch me land this plane like a boss. Alexa, will you handle the radio calls for me? Sure, I will take care of the radio calls. You don't worry about a thing. And so right now, my five flight with Alexa is doing a right-hand turn to get me around for a 45-degree entry for a downwind at this airport I'm landing at in North Dallas, North Texas. Here's the traffic stop, 7710 uniform, 6 miles to the north, 5, 3,500 maneuvering gain zone. Alright, looks like it's got us established here on final, for 500 feet. The great. Freight 4 traffic, banana 775, uh, 7 miles to the southwest, inbound left traffic, 184. Gains of traffic, Skyline 292 Mac Alpha, 2 miles to the west, level at 2000, departing to the west, last call, Gainesville. So the auto land has just completed our landing for us. Alexa, uh, if you don't mind, can you taxi me over to the fuel pumps and, uh, Let's go ahead and run the credit card and pick up uh, 40 gallons. Yeah, let's go ahead and turn off on Charlie, okay? All right, so it looks like that test was successful. Um, everything worked out, and uh, I think this goes to show that you can totally trust these Autoland systems. I think it's great that Garmin's coming out with these things. Um, I think we can all look forward to having these things in our aircraft in the next 10 to 50 years, and it's probably going to be really cheap too, so uh, look forward to that. Um, so that's about it for the video. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and then uh, let's uh, hop back in the plane and show you some of the fun we had on the way home. I don't know why I said we, it was just me in the plane. There was nobody else there, it was just me. <laughs> and so that is the five flight auto land feature. And if at any point you saw shadows go across here that looked like there was another human in the plane, that's just the Sirius has a, a lady's head shape uh, over by the window sometimes that, that uh, in the shadows. A lot of people think that uh, you, there's an instructor in the plane, but no, I don't use instructors. There's five, Mike Victor. I'll tell you what, there's two ahead of you. Uh, 11 and one o'clock, two miles. 2,500 feet on both. If you want to keep it low and just overtake, you got 70 knots on them. So it's a 603. Traffic to your left is serious lower. He's going to overtake and uh, blow you. I'm sorry, what did he say? Left is serious lower. He's going to overtake and uh, blow you. One more time. Traffic to your left is serious lower. He's going to overtake and uh, blow you. Now, I didn't know the tower could commit these things on my behalf, but if it means I get to land first, then you got to do what you got to do. Two, Romeo. Once you're on final plane to be overtaken by a Cirrus, uh, they'll pass off your right side. That's right. Yes, uh, work five, Mike Victor. The second Cirrus that you're going to uh, overtake is uh, about 11.30 a mile. All right, next contact, I'm looking. 2,500, just a little bit higher. 